well, ready for a fight. That's what Chicago Teachers Union officials are saying about what lies ahead with contract talks. And to prove it, they even took some action against the school board today. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov has more on what appears to be a rocky negotiating road ahead. We are beyond insulted. That's how Chicago Teachers Union President Karen Lewis describes the status of contract talks. But she's talking action, too. We are organizing and we will show our displeasure. Lewis stopped short of saying strike after meeting with CTU delegates, but there's already a show of displeasure in the form of an unfair labor practice filed by the union against Chicago's school board today. It accuses CPS of bad faith bargaining eight weeks before the current teacher's contract is up. Are you telling your rank and file to save money? We're telling our rank and file to be ready for a fight. The CTU is blasting CPS's proposal, which they say wants teachers to take a 7% pay cut. That comes a week after CPS announced it wouldn't honor a one-year contract extension and 3% raise negotiated back in 2012, ending the volatile teacher's strike. There is no trust, and that's what's so unfortunate here. But CPS officials say schools are facing a billion-dollar deficit, most from a pension payments backlog. Despite the CTU's protest, Mayor Rahm Emanuel remains hopeful. While I'm uh, confident that we can work through the issues, we have serious fiscal challenges. Lewis says she's looking forward to a face-to-face -face talk with Emanuel, a sign perhaps that the olive branch he extended after his re-election still applies. As for the unfair labor practice filed today, school officials just released a statement saying while CPS has not reviewed the complaint and is unable to comment on its content, we look forward to continuing our conversation, goes on to say a conversation that includes working together to increase state education funding and a system that forces Chicago to pay twice for teacher pensions. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Robin Kate. So we've heard the tough talk there, Dana. How likely is it, do people believe, that there would be another strike? Uh, it's very difficult to say right now. No timeline, Lewis says, but I know from sources who are teachers, they really are putting money away. Okay. Mm, all right. Very Thank telling. You, Dana. Mm -hmm.